Let's talk about remote sensing and GIS integration. The basics of uh, remote sensing and uh, integration uh, to GIS. Let's start with some remote sensing stuff. Uh, when we talk about remote sensing, first thing comes is electromagnetic spectrum, which may be uh, reflected or emitted. Uh, and depending upon these two, uh, certain, uh, you know, infra passive active uh, definition are being formed. Now detection is through film or through sensor and everything uh, directly or indirectly depends on the atmospheric attenuation. The recording type, the criteria of recording may be analog or digital. Analog means a film, you must uh, retrieve a film and resolution based on the film type. But when the recording type is digital, it is easier to retrieve data and the resolution is based on sensor or per unit area and raster data as well, one of the recording type. And as I earlier mentioned, passive systems and active system. So these are the system classifications. So passive system use existing source of uh, electromagnetic illumination while the active systems they provide source of electromagnetic illumination. The platforms from where remote sensing can be done is through airplane or a satellite. Airplane is uh, at low or high altitude, high resolution because of low altitude and large scale. Whereas satellite, different altitudes are available and low to high resolution, varying resolution is also there and we can get a small resolution and large scale resolution depending upon the satellite sensor. And what are the imaging characteristics? These are spatial resolution, ground resolution, various resolutions are there and spatial resolution means the most, uh, it is the most important characteristic and the basis is the lens or the film or sensor which is being used for imaging. And when we talk about ground resolution, it comes to spatial resolution, see, and the scale. So ground resolution, uh, these two factors play an important role. When we talk about uh, spectral resolution, this is the electromagnetic wavelength to which a system is sensitive. And the components of uh, the spectral resolution are number of bands, uh, more band, more is better, and width of the band narrow is better uh, as we see in high hyper spectral and ultra spectral and talking about the radiometric uh, resolution it uh, you know differences between steps in ex exposure timely and then the contrast and temporal is actual time is daily monthly and yearly etc and now selecting image characteristics what are the appropriate specification that are ground resolution, bands and widths and spectral resolution. And what need to be determined, what you need to observe, what you might want in the future and what you can afford. Of course, price is always there. Coming to photogrammetry, photogrammetry means, uh, you know, uh, photo and grammetry means, you know, from photo, if you are able to measure then this is called photogrammetry, measuring through a photo and image of course. So obtaining reliable measurements from images is a science as well as art, it is now a technology also and scale is based on the focal length, the height of the plane and average terrain elevation. And sources of error in photogrammetry is relief uh, dis displacement due to central perspective aircraft tilt and when uh, height and altitude is a factor, ortho photographs, ortho images, correction of the above errors and use of DEM that is digital elevation models. And when we talk about TIR, TIS or thermal infrared, then sensing of heat and systems are TIMS and ATLAS, various systems are available, and panoramic distortion is there. And SLAR that is side looking airborne radar or SAR SAR so it has an oblique view that is a side view 
and feature for foreshortening is there because uh, compression of features is tilted towards the radar because it is side view and incidence angle varies with distance from radar and resolution varies with the pulse length and antenna size see in uh, SAR photogrammetry the resolution has changed as per pulse length and antenna size and if we talk about satellite now all type of images are there and advantages are wide coverage distill free and relief displacement is uh, you know very little or you know acceptable to the user then dis disadvantages are also there that it has low spatial resolution like landsat uh, thematic mapper is 30 meter and spot is 20 meter but it has improved a lot in uh, you know present day and what is the extraction of data the steps in extraction of data that is detection and then identification analysis and reduction then classification and finally the authorization that is verifying and nullifying the hypothesis what may be the image elements image elements may be tone or color and size shape texture height shadow associated and the pattern pattern which is most the complex and uh, if you talk about CAC, computer assisted classification, then classifying the raster data. Classifying means uh, differentiating into different categories. And automation of low complexity functions, that pre-processing, that is radiometric and geometric correction. And then coming to classification approaches, we have supervised, unsupervised. Supervised, we have classes assigned and unsupervised cluster analysis. And finally, the hybrid of both two, supervised followed by the uh, unsupervised and vice versa. Again, the type of classifiers, it may be hard and soft. Contextual, that means looking at neighbored pixels and artificial neural networks, that is complex determination based on multiple inputs. And finally, the field checking. One more thing is that free, uh, this is chain detection. Chain detection means overlaying map to map and image to image. It shows the changes which has occurred in two different uh, temporal images and output is matrix or a map. Integration of uh, GIS and remote sensing because so far we have uh, you know known about the remote sensing in this presentation. Now integration of GIS requirements are same georeferencing system that means rectification or registration and the same georeferencing system and resampling and problem is uh, somewhat raster and vector data styles it, they are different and three stages uh, for integration of GIS and remote sensing uh, separate but equal seamless integration in, in, in an example is uh, a GIS database called RPU uh, now it is RGIS and then final total integration so thank you so much take care of yourself